On Friday, Andy Kershaw was on the Isle of Bute with a big crowd as we saw Donald Campbell's Bluebird fully restored and ready to take to the water for the first time since the tra tragic crash of 1967. Well, Andy stayed there over the weekend as testing got underway and here is what happened. I was just seven years old when it happened, but I can still vividly remember hearing the news that Donald Campbell had been killed on Coniston Water, attempting to lift his own water speed record above 300 miles an hour. It's a memory that's lingered with me ever since, and one of the reasons I've been following the restoration of his hydroplane. And today, here on Loch Fad, Bluebird will go back on the water for the first time since that accident in January 1967. It's a day that I, and many others, thought we'd never see. Before Bluebird goes out on the water, a safety team of rescue divers has to check that all's well. And Lakeside is Gina, the daughter of Donald Campbell. I think the biggest word is pride. Pride in the workmanship, pride in my father's achievements, and, and pride in what we're all going to see here today. She looks out of this world already. None of this could have happened without Bill Smith's team of volunteers, engineers and enthusiasts. Bill, many people will be wondering why we're at Loch Fad on the Isle of Bute and not at Coniston where Campbell of course set four world records. Well, when the time came to do the crew training exercise, uh, the Isle of Bute, the community and the Mount Stewart Trust were able to facilitate this event in seven months. Bluebird's historic return has already hit a snag. A small amount of water's been getting through a tiny hole in the planing shoe. Gina's right there with some chewing gum. That's one stun. That's one right there. <laughs> but that's not the end of it. A steel pin on the trailer is catching on the slipway matting. With the offending part removed, Bluebird is moved out onto the lock. And yes, she floats. And thankfully, she's also watertight. Oh, Dad, I wish you were here to see this for yourself. <laughs> Only someone like you, bloody-minded, difficult, is that, is argumentative, that could make this happen. <laughs> I love him. I said to him, well done. <laughs> no one alive today has ever piloted Bluebird until now. Stuart Campbell and Ted Walsh will take it in turns to be in the hot seat. I dare say you feel quite a sense of responsibility. That's a, it's a responsibility to that team that have put 17 years effort into, into getting her look as, as good as she is just now. So, yeah, a lot of pressure on us to, to look after her. Have you come up with a technique yet for piloting Bluebird? She's going to drive so differently to almost anything else and nobody's driven her that's, that's around today. Who's going to go first? Ted is the man to do that. So you're going to go so, first? Yeah, I'll go first. It's about learning how it works as opposed yeah. to learning how it drives. Not many jet-powered 1950s hydroplanes to have a go with, <laughs> is it? After a series of checks, it's time to put the engine to the test. Happily, the engine works well, which is a big boost of confidence for Bill and his team. Oh, just listen to that. The next time she goes out on the water, they'll really see what she can do. After years of work on the restoration, today is Judgment Day. The project to fully restore Bluebird has been jaw-droppingly ambitious and as implausible as Campbell's own achievements. It goes to the very heart of Britishness, a downright refusal to be beaten. And now she's ready and raring to go. Oh dear, once she's out on the water, Bluebird's jet engine fails to ignite and it looks like there won't be any more runs today. But as the clock ticks on by, the team refuses to give in. Well, the problem has been diagnosed. It was a blown fuse, so the igniter failed to ignite. That's now been replaced, and at almost half past eight on the third day, with the light going, they're ready to have another go. With a change of fuse, Bluebird attempts to go again. And this time, she fires up and is ready to go. Bluebird is back as a triumph of British engineering then and now. And a breathtaking tribute to Donald Campbell, a truly fearless pioneer 
and a very British hero of a more heroic age. Seeing her yesterday and today, she's too young to go and sit <laughs> in a crusty old museum. At 64 years of age, she's still turning heads, isn't she? They say the same about me. <laughs> <laughs> After all that work, shall we see it again? Let's see yes. it again. Let's have a little look if we can at that moment when it took off again to fire up those 1950s jet engines. Look at that. I can't imagine what Bill must have been thinking right there and then no. to have done all of this in and his workshop in, yeah. up north. And I went, I went there and saw it all for myself and that kind of passion that he had just to make this happen and to put bluebird back onto the water and look at that in all of its glory such a moment from british history and uh, well done to bill and all of the <laughs>